Hi everyone, so I was just about to show you guys how to make this ornate chair for a Beauty and the Beast dinner party. And I thought I better do a video to step back and kind of go through some of the decorations you might use and why you're using them in the first place. So most of us grew up on the Disney version of Beauty and the Beast. And like most Disney versions, they're based on a fairy tale. So here's the key part you need to know. Beauty and the Beast was written in 1740. Now, to get to the Disney version, the story has been told and retold and changed in different ways over the centuries. But if you look at the 1991 animated version that we grew up with, and also the trailer for the upcoming video, you're going to see certain design characteristics that show that the designers did choose styles from that original era. So the first thing to remember is the Beast Castle is kind of like any home that we have here. So let's say that you buy a house that's built in the 1950s. It's going to have 1950s style, probably had a bit of a renovation in 1980, not a complete overhaul, but just like a little fixer upper. And you're also going to have the styles from now. So the Beast Castle is no different. So there's going to be different layers of styles that are shown throughout the castle. So actually there's two main styles that we're looking at. So the first style we seem to see is in the dining room scene. So this could be either King Louis XIV style or Baroque. So Baroque lasted for about a century, the style. And just so you understand where it was coming from, um, it was a style that was encouraged by the Catholic Church uh, because it communicated religious themes. It was very strict and grand, uh, very dramatic, and there was a lot of symmetry and so on. So in the dining room scene, you're seeing a lot of heavy reds and golds, um, a lot of ornate, you'll see like an ornate side table, dark woods. Um, so a lot of these styles probably reflected from the Baroque style. So the other style we see is in the latest trailer, it's in the ballroom. So Rococo style was a contrast to Baroque. So it's often known as late Baroque style as well. So it was very natural. It was all very flowing. You see a lot of C and S shapes. It's very asymmetrical. Um, color wise, you're looking at lots of whites, pastels, pinks, greens, and blues, and also gilded gold, which is why we've done the chair this way. Um, they had like flocked wallpapers in damask and floral patterns. So there's lots to choose from. It's very light and playful. That's why we have the, the crystal chandeliers um, so it's so that style really reflected more of the Rococo style, which was happening around the time Beauty and the Beast was being written. Now, as I've said, the Beast Castle probably reflected little bits and pieces of it. If you actually see the 1991 animated version, um, they say there's a portrait behind the dining room, and they say that it was actually inspired by um, a painting called The Swing. Now, The Swing is actually a Rococo uh, style painting. So it completely shows how you can mix and match a little bit of the two. So the dining room is very much um, Baroque style, but then you've also got one little piece that's Rococo. Of course, if you're doing a themed dinner party, it probably is easier to choose one or the other. In this case, we're doing a lot of the Rococo style. We've got crystals, we've got whites, um, we've got the gilded gold damask fabrics, um, both for the chair and for the backdrop. But it's entirely up to you what features you want to choose. But I thought I'd run through this just so you guys have a little bit of an understanding so you know what you're looking for when you're trying to throw an authentic Beauty and the Beast party. Make sure you guys subscribe. I have got more videos coming up. Next one is the ornate chair, how to make that. It's just using basically Ikea pieces and a few other bits and bobs. And I've also got the Beauty and the Beast mini coming up as well. So definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.